think you can fold. I think the fold method, because they're so thin. It's been a long time since I've had New York pizza. Good morning, everyone. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Lisbon, Portugal. It's about 6.30 a.m. Ying and I are packing up everything and we are about to go catch the metro heading to the airport. We have a flight at about 10 a.m. this morning to New York City. So this is our final goodbye to Lisbon. Thank you very much to Fonte Cruz Lisboa, which is a Marriott hotel. Maybe the, the dark theme is not my personal preference, but this hotel is in an amazing location in Lisbon, right along Avenida, which is a beautiful, beautiful street, and very close to some plazas, good restaurants around here, great location, great service. Thank you for the stay. We made it to the airport. That was about a 35 minute ride on the metro. So if you take the metro from uh, the airport to Lisbon city center, give yourself about 35 to 45 minutes. We got all checked into our flight, now walking to our gate. I think I will turn off the camera now because security is gonna be pretty, pretty tight. Uh, so I will see you in the airplane. We are on our way to New York city. The short flights that Ying and I have taken on this trip so far with Star Alliance, just the one or two hour flights. The planes, they've been okay for business class, but finally Ying and I have a long flight on business class. This is fantastic. Ying, what do you think? <laughs> Look at the size of this seat and the, the reclining ability. And I think it's gonna be about an eight hour flight. We're flying into Newark, Liberty Airport. And oh, I'm gonna sleep well. Oh, and eat well too. Ian, how's your seat? <laughs> you can try, to, try to put your feet over there. Oh, you can't even reach the end. I just wanted to catch you up in case you are joining me on this video series right here. But right now, my wife Ying and I, How's that apple juice? Are on a round the world trip with Star Alliance. And so we are traveling to nine or ten different cities if you count our, our home in Bangkok. Uh, ten different cities. We're going around in ten different cities and traveling for the food. Let me give you a quick tour of this booth. We've got the, the TV here in the front. A good sized TV. There's a shelving unit here. There is a padded footrest below here. Right in my back here, the full-size pillow. Very squishy indeed. And then if you take a look behind the seat over here, but I'll show you on this side just because it's more convenient. Um, I've got all the plugs, USB, headphones. I'm not sure what this is. What is this? Okay. Oh, this is like a little hair here. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, fancy. The socks, the, the iPad, <laughs> the iPad, the eye, what is it called? The eye blocker and toothpaste, toothbrush. Oh, fantastic. All the essentials within this little tin. And this is the, the Olympic edition, 2016. Ying is already taking advantage of her seat and taking a nap. We're gonna be taking off soon, so I will turn off the camera and I will turn it back on to show you the first meal. Oh, and this is the menu. We are so 
somewhere in the middle of the air now over the Atlantic and they just served us some nuts as well as a drink and now starting with lunch I got the brown piece of bread butter actually let me let me tear off a piece of the bread oh, the, the warm roll with some butter and now this is the appetizer Shrimp and salmon and lemon. Shrimp. Mm. That has a gingery taste to it. And then the piece of salmon. Oh, I think it's stuffed. Oh. Smoked salmon, maybe it's stuffed with a little bit of cream cheese and a lot of dill. <laughs> He served me a nice salad next, and I went for the balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Got this little micro plastic of pepper. Okay, that should be good. Nice to have a full salad. On the menu, they had a choice of a couple of different things, including a steak, but I decided to go for the salmon, and then the salmon came with a shrimp on top, some vegetables, and then couscous on the bottom with some kind of a gravy, and it looks like, is that pumpkin? So I think a spoon would be in order for this. That is a wonderful piece of salmon. Get some of the gravy to go with that. even though it's already delicious with the lemon on it. And got a sprinkle on the rest of that little pepper. That gravy is awesome, and then with that couscous, that is fantastic. This is an amazing meal. I like it with that squeeze of lemon. and now they rolled around a cart with cheese and grapes in Follow that with a grape. The combination of cheese, the salty cheese, with juicy sweet grapes. And follow that yet again. And that concludes lunch on this flight. That was a full-on gourmet, fine dining experience. And the food was actually really good. I think just with fudge and almonds. What's for you here? Thank you. I actually thought the meal was over, but one more dessert course. And she drizzled on some fresh fudge sauce, and then I added on almonds as well. That is good quality. And good chocolate sauce and I like it with those slivers of almonds. What a way to end a gourmet meal in the sky. I have not seen Ying this happy in a long time. She is hanging out, eating ice cream while watching a movie. There's absolutely nothing better than eating a good meal and then being in the chair to just recline. It has been about two 
two hours since our last lunch and I'm not really sure what time of the day it is in the world where we are flying, but I think this is lunch number two. You could have either gotten the cheese plate, but I decided to go for salmon again. So this is salmon lunch number two with noodles and then also a fruit bowl here. Let me take some of this sauce. Let me try some of these noodles. Maybe they're soba? Buckwheat? Possibly. just landed at Newark Liberty International Airport. Thank you very much to United and Star Alliance. That was an awesome flight. Good food as well. And I did not want that flight to end actually. <laughs> but we are here, New York City, and they just warned us to not take out any cell phones or cameras in customs and immigration or they will confiscate them. So I'm not gonna take the risk. I'm about to put the camera away into my bag and I will see you guys on the other side of immigration. That all went smoothly, got our bag. We are now walking through the airport, heading to ground transportation. We're gonna try to take the train from Newark straight to Manhattan Penn Station and our hotel is right in the middle of Manhattan. We're on the little airport shuttle. We landed at Terminal B and we are on our way to the airport train station. New Jersey Transit Rail, I think that's what we want. And we are going to Newark, New York Penn Station. <laughs> so many options. <laughs> One way adult. Um, add in the K2? Yeah. Multi pay? No. Back. Hey, cost thirteen dollars. Oh yeah. Thirteen dollars for the tickets. There were so many options. New York. will be about a 20 minute ride, I think. Let's exit Madison Square Garden. We got lost a little bit in Penn Station, wandered around for a little while, but I think we are emerging in the right exit on 7th Ave. Mm. Hey, welcome to New York City. It has been about 10 years since I've been here. We are walking over to the Courtyard Marriott, the Chelsea branch, and it's just about a five minute walk from Penn Station. Great location. Hello. Good, thank you. Check in for Mark Weens. What's the last name? Weens. W I E N S. Two zero zero one. Or two zero zero two. I said, oh, on the end here. Oh, ching ching, do it. The end room. Oh, yeah. Exit. <laughs> right next to the exit. Whoa. It's a huge room. Wow. Wow. This is the entire, there's an entire living room, dining room, and desk here. And we drop the bags off and quick tour of this place. Oh wait, let's go look out the window real fast. Oh yeah. 20th floor, look at that view of New York. Actually, we see a lot of rooftops, but it's an amazing view still. And then bedroom all the way on the other side of the hall. Opposite side view of New York City. Mm. 
no real plan, just gonna kinda meander around, walk around slowly, and maybe try to find something small to eat. We took a walk down the street probably for about 30 minutes and didn't really know what to eat so I thought it would be fitting to have my first meal in New York City at this legendary pizza place and pizza is one of the iconic foods of New York City so I'm gonna go inside and get a couple slices. Slice one. Uh, one pepperoni and one cheese. You walk inside, they have all the pizzas at the front, you wait in line, then you choose your slices of pizza. Uh, most of the, um, I think most of what almost everybody was getting was just either cheese or pepperoni, uh, just the normal pizza slices. I got two slices, just a cheese and a pepperoni, and then I immediately put on some chili flakes. And I'm gonna start with this, uh, just cheese, because this was right out of the oven, right as I ordered. And I think, I think you can fold. I think the fold method because they're so thin. Mm. It's been a long time since I've had New York pizza. The crust is crispy, but where the sauce meets the, the dough, it's gooey, and then that's a nice tart tomato sauce, and then the salty cheese. I like the amount of sauce ratio in this pizza. It gives the, the pizza a very nice tart tomato flavor. And those chili flakes on there are very good as well. That does give it some nice spice. They are, the chili flakes are, are pretty good. Let me try the pepperoni. And at the top here, you can see how much pepperoni. That's almost like a whole, an entire covering of pepperoni. Let me pour on the rest of those chili flakes which have fallen off the plate, onto the plate. All right. In order to get the pepperoni on my first bite, I'm gonna have to make it a big bite. Mm. Successful. I definitely like the pepperoni one better. Uh, that gives it the extra salty, meaty dimension that goes so well together with the cheese the tomato sauce, and that thin crust. Mm, great way to start this trip to New York City. From here, Ying and I are getting very sleepy, so we're just gonna walk very slowly back to the hotel, so I'm gonna end the vlog for today right now. Thank you all very much for watching today's video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also make sure you subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. Good night from New York City.